Okay, so I'm kind of recording now as we go. Where is he? Now, I believe we have spotted over here the man, the celebrity hairstylist, that's Jamie Stevens. Busted. Right, Jamie Stevens. Hey, Dom. I had to cut it. Very good. good. Nice to meet you. So Hi. We have just that was seen a bit you. on the spot. Yeah, well, that's why we So, come on. What are you up to? What are you doing? I am just about to do a live haircut. One model, one hour. Just me on the cut stage. Um, and yesterday I was here all day doing a couple of big shows. So, to be honest, I've got no team. And I'm just actually enjoying just walking around. Can you actually just walk around these events without actually getting noticed? What, we're just trying to sit here, look at these amazing <laughs> products by people do, coming do over? We, we were literally just standing over there and they said, oh, look, it's Jamie over there. So we're going to have a chat. So are you doing some work with these guys as well? Wait and see. Not Wait sure. Maybe see. I'm just standing here looking. Um, yeah, watch this space. And how are you finding the vibe here in Manchester? Honestly, I think for the last couple of years, um, obviously you've got Salon International, which is, you know, been going for a lot longer. But for me, just actually being a little bit smaller, like for me, this is hair. You know, there's no teeth whitening and all of that sort of stuff. You know, so. And that's, that's what we were saying as well. And I think what's really comes over that sometimes I refer to the hairdressers, what I call the real foot soldiers of hairdressing. Yeah, yeah. Do you think you feel that when you wander around here being in the north, slightly different? So it's not so, it's very British hairdressing no, 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 here. It is. And I just, yeah, there's, there's just, there's a feel about this place, which yeah. just seems a little bit different. You know, everyone is here for hair. And I think that's the thing what really kind of stands out in Manchester rather than London. For sure. and, and do you still get excited by what you see when you yeah. go around? You do. Yeah. What's exciting you at the moment? Uh, honestly, I just think the younger people coming into the industry if i'm honest i'm only 38 but christ walking around i feel really old you look younger than oh, 38 he does, he he does. does. Nice, you nice. look like david beckham as well i've never um, seen you actually have people told you that I've had it had... quite a bit yeah his money. yeah <laughs> don't <laughs> don't but no we all don't that, yeah. <laughs> i mean i mean like i say but yeah i mean it is a younger sort of industry but it's changing as well and i know you've been involved in quite a few yeah debates and well do you know what the funny thing is yesterday actually i was really 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 surprised because obviously what is going on with the world you know economic climate in brexit and all of this stuff and i was actually saying um i did an hour on the business stage and we were actually on there for an hour and a half and i've never seen a bunch of people sit down and not leave for an hour and a half so for me that actually says something at the moment you know people come here to be inspired but actually the business side of it is a really really important thing what are you taking from the industry then so when you look around and we, we sort of see a new breeze social media do you feel that they are looking to do things differently maybe to you know y yourself when you were starting even though at 38 do you know what i said yesterday and i think it's something if you go back <clears throat> you know yes you know i'm a you know industry celebrity award-winning thing but if you go back 30 years ago in our industry really there was only like you know trevor vidal you know anthony muscolo now you know you can name hundreds you know one because of i think even just like reality shows okay gone are the days when celebrities were true celebrities you know there's so many more celebrities which means there's so many more celebrity hairdressers. And, you know, I don't like being classed as a celebrity hairdresser. I'm a hairdresser. You know, I'm fortunate that I've got myself to a position where I can do those things. But I think it's having a, a reverse effect on younger people. And I don't necessarily see it as a good thing, if I'm honest. Because I said yesterday, you know, everyone was like, oh, we all Jamie Stevens, you know, you've got four salons, it must be easier for you. And I'm like, it's just as hard for me. And if anything, I actually find it harder because I'm getting all these younger people come in and within two weeks, they do, want to do, be me. And I, I think that's brilliant. I, I mean, I could go off into such a, a chat here, but I think that's really, because I think sometimes they don't get the journey of you. They, they just see no, Jamie Stevens, you know, this morning, of course. stages. Of course. But, and I think that is the thing, you know, you speak to any, you know, successful hairdresser, you know, it doesn't, hasn't happened overnight. You know, I'm 38, you know, I've been hairdressing with my mum since I was like 10. You know, I've been in London for 15 years, you know, and it hasn't just happened overnight and it is super hard work. So I think the people that are getting into it, it's, I just think we've just got to be careful that we don't make it too easy. You know, social media is amazing, but I'm seeing people that, you know, they're learning stuff from watching stuff from people that aren't the right people for me. Um, but it has its place in society. So if we don't actually evolve, then we'll get left behind. So we have a responsibility as well to change. You know, for me, 
history is history, the future is the future. So like me as a company, you know, we have, we're changing how we sort of do stuff. You know, if we, we're upping our social and our sort of online presence and education, because even though I think the days of, you know, I was the global ambassador for Matrix, you know, and going back six, seven years ago, you know, I was doing 30, 40 days a year of education in the UK. Now I've just moved over to Lorio and Keristas, but people aren't booking courses anymore. It's, it's just, just yeah. So, you know, and I know like, you know, the things like podcast and all of that sort of stuff, it's just the way which, forward. Which it's going to bring us to a perfect end. Yep. So uh, I, me and you, I think me and you, we're going to talk more, my friend. So uh, honestly, it's been brilliant, and thank you for because it's the first time I've actually met you in person, and, and it was uh, Jill Danner over there who's over in a bike like. Come on, hello. Um, but yeah, no, thank you so much. It's it, you, you're an inspiration to the industry, and I think the way that you speak, and I know you always speak so good about and realistically as well, being realistic about it. Well, funny enough, so going back to my journey when I Beverly, so I actually worked with. Her mum. Oh, did you really? Yeah. yeah. So Taylor, we've got to save right? some of this okay. for the podcast because huh? I need. Yeah. 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 Right? yeah. Okay. So I did. So Beverly honestly was. Your mum has had, you know, even just going around here today. It was the one, honestly, one of the most amazing sort of things. I learned a lot from her mum and an Estes and a dad. Yeah. Um, and Estes, absolutely. Yeah. So it was just actually when. Where did I go? I went to Errol's, didn't I, after? Yeah. And I stayed with Errol for six years. That's when you really started to, your name, I think, then started to come But you know what, again, through. don't want to go on, but going back, like, when so many people come in, you know, I never, I've won 50 awards, 100 nominations, but it goes back, my first ever British Edison Award shoot I did, it was like a test shoot, I paid for it, you know, I found a photographer, I found the models, right, yeah. cost me about three grand of my own money, you know, and yes, that is definitely what, catapulted me put me on that sort of elevation because then I got in the fame team with the fellowship um, but you know my staff I'm someone that kind of gives back it's not just about me now I've got yeah, a brand so you know we had six people in the final last year but it's amazing I'm just not but I've been one of those that I've made it easy for them like I funded it and I just think Do you know what I never had that and now they expect it every single year. So I, I've, I've, got to go back to I've just, I've just changed it. I was like, look, you know, if you want it, you've got to, you know, I'll open the door, but I'm not pushing you for it. You know, amazing. Look, I'm going to stop on this, way, but I just think like evolving the industry in that way. But business owners can't do the same things that we've been doing for, you know, 30 years. Oh, you have look, to evolve. For sure. You know, we, we had to honestly, I don't know if you saw that. Um,